vitamin D and kidney disease, Robert Galarowitz Healthy Kidney Inc. And today I'm gonna to reference a study from the Journal of Renal Nutrition, May 2020, an anti-protein urea effect of calcitriol, which is a prescription D3, in patients with chronic kidney disease and vitamin D deficiency. So this showed that vitamin D, okay, something that if you have chronic kidney disease, if you have kidney disease, you should be tested okay, to know where your levels are at. And, and most people will probably have to supplement. And that does depend on what stage of kidney disease you're in because the kidneys play a big role in making vitamin D. And so what this study showed was that uh, people with kidney disease that were in stage three and four who took calcitriol, which is the prescription vitamin D, you can get supplemental vitamin D over the counter all right, as D3. That's uh, what most people use, but you can ask your doctor about calcitriol to see uh, you know, what their recommendation is, looking at your labs, but that's what they use in this study, but you do have the supplemental option of vitamin D3 that's over the counter. And what they show that people who had a blood test uh, that showed about 25, 26 was their vitamin D level, and the cutoff is 30. So anything under 30, you're deficient. Even being like 31, 32, 33, 34, uh, 35, it is still not a great level because you're just sufficient. I recommend in the area of 40, okay, 40 to 60, and that all will vary. People have different recommendations, but that's, that's what I like uh, for kidney health, all right, for your vitamin D level. And what it showed was that people who got out of that deficiency range and got into a better range with their vitamin D, they had less protein in the urine. And that's great, okay, a simple vitamin D pill. And it's not something that you gotta take a lot of pills a day to get an effect or a lot of powders. It's just one pill. You could always get a vitamin D in a proper dose in one pill. So everybody with kidney disease should have their vitamin D level tested, okay, to see what it's at. And don't assume your doctor's doing it. You always gotta ask, get copies, um, because they'll often say, you know, you might say, how's my vitamin D level? Uh, oh, it's fine. What does fine mean exactly? Maybe you're 31. Okay, you're just fine. Uh, you'll do much better if your if your range got into 40. Okay, 39 on a vitamin D blood test is better than a 31. Okay, you're gonna have more benefits. So make sure you get those tested. Okay, check out our videos that we have on our website, YouTube here. Subscribe, like. A lot of things you can do to help your kidney health, and vitamin D is definitely one of them. Have a good day.